Dear students, here is the student, student's example of the online presentation. And I just want to briefly go over a few areas just as reminders. First, remember that you're going to begin with an attention getter. The next screen is going to have your name and the title of your presentation. And then we have the body of your presentation. Remember that your job is not to take the entire report and then put your entire report in PowerPoint. Your job is to take specific information in your report and provide that information to your audience. As you can see, this particular student example has just specific information. Um, and what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to elaborate on this information. So this is your task. I would like for you to add your voice to your presentation. Now this is going to take a bit of work, uh, but remember that within PowerPoint you can record. You can record your voice. So what you um, will need, however, is a microphone and um, you probably perhaps have a microphone for your iPod or your iPhone or um, hopefully you can borrow a microphone from someone and all you have to do is just attach the microphone to your computer and when you're in PowerPoint you can re record your, your voice. Now you can do this one of two ways and um, the first way is under insert. So if you click on insert and then if you go here to sound under media clips um, you can record a sound uh, with a microphone. So you can record your voice with a microphone. You can also go to slideshow and under slideshow you can record narration. Now this probably, this is your first time, it pro probably will take some practice, but I do think that this is important um, for your presentation because it will help you connect with your cybermates first off and um, it will allow you the opportunity to expand on the information that you have on each screen so that um, you know there it really isn't if you you know when you record your voice there isn't a disconnect between the information on the screen and then um, your voice and you explaining um, your recommendation report. As part of your explanation, you can definitely role play. So um, I can be a part of your audience as far as your business audience. Then, of course, your classmates can be um, part of that audience as well. So you can address us as if we were colleagues of you within that organization. If that's the direction that you took for your recommendation report. If it isn't, then we know whoever your audience is, that's who we can be. It is important for you to learn how to use PowerPoint because PowerPoint really is standard in business. So this is the perfect opportunity for you to perfect um, your PowerPoint organization and design skills and you can use it effectively. Of course, as with any technology, any software, it can be used um, effectively, but your job is to use it effectively. And I think one way that you can use it effectively is indeed to record your voice. So it may take some time and some determination on your part, but it definitely can be done. So um, have fun. Enter this with an open mind and um, that will help you lessen the, lessen the frustration. Um, but please have fun with this assignment. I think this is a worthy assignment for you and it will help you in the future.